Shum. Hi guys, so I'm back and I have a haul for you today. Um, if you guys don't like hauls, then you don't have to watch them, but I personally love hauls because I get to see what other people are buying and what they've researched and what they've rev reviewed, kind of, not reviewed, but like what they have bought. Cause, so obviously if they, if they went out and purchased it, it must be either good or have a good concept and so I just I just love seeing new products that people choose to spend their money on and and because it just it introduces me into kind of a new world that I wouldn't have known before like if there wasn't for haul videos I really probably wouldn't have branched out into the world of Lush at all um, and now Lush is probably one of the biggest things that I spend my money on and I absolutely love Lush stuff same with Bath and Body Works candles like I've always liked Bath and Body Works candles but I probably wouldn't have gotten so into them if I hadn't seen everybody buying them and this and that because now I just, I love them and I know which ones that most people say that they liked and they disliked and like I, I didn't even try to smell vanilla bean Noah because everyone said it had a really bad scent throw and this and that and now I just know, I just know so many more things that I would have not known and I feel like hauls are great because you know you know what to spend your money on and you know what not to spend your money on and that's why I like them so I don't feel like they're selfish or they're bragging I just feel like it's people helping out each other saying hey this is what I got this is what I thought was amazing and I hope you think it's amazing too so with that in mind I got went to Lush first and I got um we actually went to Lush like 13 different times in that night it's a long story but um, we went to Lush and I got this one and I've been eyeing this one for the last few times I went in it's called Titsy Totsy the bath bomb and um it's rose scented but it has that very refreshing like subtle rose scent not like that rose jam slash rose arg and like really shenanigans like sweet sweet rose it's like that um just the, that very subtle almost like bitter at the end kind of rose it's just so like very very sophisticated but um and these i i watched demos of this and these um these petals kind of float around you can pick them out if you want i probably will but um you never know it's supposed to be romantic you're supposed to like have a bath with like your 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 lover in this like that's what it's marketed for but i just i'm gonna be a lonesome bather apparently <laughs> um next i got the comforter and it looks like this and I used it this morning actually actually I took a bath with one of my bath products that I bought and I used all of it I bought dragon's egg and I mixed it with the comforter which was in a if you're wondering amazing cocktail amazing 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 cocktail amazing it smells like fruit punch and it looks like fruit punch and it, it just it's fruit punch if you're wondering if you want like a fruit punch bath the comforter plus dragon's egg you never would have thought would you never ever so it's because like Dragon's Egg is like citrusy, and this is like berry-y with like, it's like, it's like fruit punchy berry with like bubble gum in it. Like that's what it smells like to me. I mix them together, fruit punch. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love it. Oh, can't wait. Just do that again because it's amazing. But anyway, so I just use a tiny little bit. It's probably like a fifth slash, like a fifth or a sixth of this um, I used. And if you guys, like... I love the smell of this, but I've had um, another few, like I've had another, I'm pretty, I'm pretty new to the Lush um, bubble bar world and the whole bathing world at all, um, to be honest, but um, cause I never really t thought to take baths before, but now I finally got into it, of the bath thing, and so I got Golden Wonder last time, and I got um, the Yuzu and Coco, um, like bubble, bubble rune, I think it's called. And anyway, I had to put both sides in it because I could not get bubbles out of it. And the same thing happened with this. I mean, obviously, I didn't need to put this entire thing in it. But I chopped off a little bit of it. And I've seen people chop off this much, maybe a little tiny bit more, and they get like mounds of bubbles. They get like humongous bubbles. And they have huge tubs full of these humongous bubbles. And I do it the same exact way they do it. Um, I, I either crumble underneath the bath, but I put it in every like 45 to a minute, and so it really lets it froth it up. But it just doesn't froth up for me. It doesn't bubble up. And I've used two different bubble bars at two different times, so it's not like a batch or it's like, I just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And I have tubs like everybody else has, and I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. So please write in the comments exactly how you do it and if you get bubbles or not. So I know, and I just, I feel left out from the froth bubble company. company like club yeah 
I'm an absolute mess if you haven't figured that out yet. I'm a mess with speaking. I really can't, I can't like speak. <gasps> well, I can, but <laughs> I just talk way too fast and then things come out and I, I don't want them to come out. And then I spend like three minutes talking about how I didn't want it to come out. Anyway, um, so this is great though. I really hope next time I use a bigger chunk and I'll I'll try to get bigger bubbles. But um, I I love this already, and I mean even without the bubbles, it just I I really do like it. It's it's just amazing. So I'll definitely be repurchasing this when I um, finish this because I truly enjoyed that bath this morning. The last thing I bought from Lush was a each piece massage bar, and I really haven't like branched out into the world of massage bars either. But I've been eyeing this one for quite a while. And um, I just wanted like a really good oily massage bar. And this is the one that I like the best. It smells amazing. I use this one right after my fruit punch bath and add a little hint of more lemony fruit punch um, to it, which I loved. And it was just amazing. I smelled like fruits. But um, if you're wondering, this is probably one of the best bath bombs that they have. I mean, bath bomb, no, did I say bath bombs? Massage bars, because massage bars pretty much all the same. There's oils and stuff, except for the ones that have shimmer in it, because this one, I don't like this one. I do, but for the, for like a massaging oily purpose, I don't. It's literally, I have to hold this in my hand for like five minutes for it to like even get a little tiny bit oily. Um, but it does get a lot of glitter on the skin. You just kind of have to press it into your skin. Um, however, it has an amazing scent. It's like, I don't even know what it is. It's like vanilla, but it's amazing. It's gorgeous. But anyway, so the scents on the, the massage bar stay for about an hour to two. Might not, not a long time at all, but, um, I can still actually smell it on me from, from like two o'clock. And now it's like eight. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so this is a great massage bar. I strongly recommend this for a first massage bar. Like me. <laughs> but anyway. So now on to Bath and Body Works.